Just walk right over it. Dang, it's easy for you. Oh crap. Oh crap, Daddy. How do I get over this? Step. Right there. Right there. You okay? Oh. Oh. Don't worry about me, bud. Just worry about you. I wasn't. You okay, though? Yeah. All right, everybody. We're back today. We're at the little honey hole that we got. Um, never catch nothing big, but doesn't mean there's not something monstrous in here. But today we got we got some mail. We got some baits from off the hook. Ted is an awesome dude. He sent me a bunch of baits. Um, I only asked for watermelon red flake because that's that's what I primarily use around here and it does really good for me. But he sent me a mother load. So without further ado, we're gonna hop right into the fishing video. I know that's what y'all want to see and let me know what y'all think about these baits. Today I'm using the watermelon red flake Cinco from Off the Hook Outdoors. I just had a good bite, missed it, bigger in Dallas. I'm coming back for that thing. It likes this old off the hook, watermelon, blue flake. Now most of the time, what you're going to want to do with, uh-oh, oh, <laughs> that took your eyeball out, Peyton. God, why am I missing fish right now? Can you hold this for a second? Most of the time, whenever you're in a grassy area like it is right here, you want to use Cinco or something that's real light that's just going to slide down in between that grass and pop back out without dragging any of it with it but at other occasions like rocky areas you might want to use like a, a small bullet weight something like that but here Cinco weightless that's for sure the route to go What's up? Not much, man. You all right? I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> I'm, I'm actually out here using your baits right now. Cool. Did you catch anything yet? Uh, Peyton's caught two on watermelon red flake. Uh, I'm going with the watermelon. It's blue and silver flake. I think you called it your uh, bluegill color. Yeah, the bluegill color. Cool. Yeah. If I'm stuck here working, you're right. You're using my baits fishing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Are you guys fishing local? Yeah, yeah, we're fishing this uh, this little pond that I've been fishing a lot here lately, uh, catching those dinks. But okay. I figured dinks will bite on big ones, will too. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. All right. Well, there'll be more baits coming because you and uh, Sunfish are 
the demo guys for me. So I just make them and send them to you guys. And you and your son have fun, have at it with them, and I send it, uh, Karen and over too to him also. Absolutely, yep. All right, bud. I'm going to hop off here and catch some fish with your baits. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. Good luck, and I'll see you soon. All right, definitely, man. Again, guys, remember, this is Ted from Off the Hook Baits. Thanks, guys. We'll see you. We'll see you all. Guys, that was Ted from Off the Hook Outdoors. I, I think I accidentally said Off the Hook Baits, but I mean, I guess you can go either way, really. But uh, man, he's he's such a cool dude. He's he's always out there to help anybody in need. But with that, I'm gonna try to catch some fish with his baits. That was a lollipop. Now if, I, now, if I have to set the hook on a fish, everybody already knows I set the hook really hard. So you're probably going to end up laying over here in this water somewhere. I'm going to smack you right in the side of the head. <laughs> the beaver's brought a dam right there. Yep. Uh, that ain't good. I'm going to throw a little dam. Oh, crap. Hoping I don't break it again. Just walk right over it. Dang, it's easy for you. Oh crap. Oh crap, Daddy. How do I get over this? Step. Right there. Right there. You okay? Oh. Don't worry about me, Bob. Just worry about you. I wasn't. You okay, though? Yeah. <laughs> Alright, well, we moved around the lake. It was right out there. Now, came around. We're here. Ain't much exciting going on today. Had a few bites. Peyton's hooked up with two, I think. And I've I've missed more than I've caught because I haven't caught any. Which is kinda weird. Oh, Peyton got him one. Alright, so Peyton got that one on what we're calling the mystery color. It's the white with silver flake. Let me open this back up. So Peyton got one on the white silver flake. Ted, let us know what that's called. I know, like I said, we did a big discussion in the live group chat, the live stream. That's what I'm thinking of, live stream. On Sunfish King. But the name is still indecisive. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna start calling it the Silver Ghost. Cause it's got the silver flake, it's white, looks like a ghost, Silver Ghost. That's what I'm going with. But I'm still waiting on, Peyton get out of there, you're gonna get a turtle. Anyways, I'm still waiting on the Kentucky guy worm, Ted. It's catchy. Alright guys, I'm now throwing the old El Natural. And it looks pretty good too. Well, let's see what we can't come up with on it. I'd really like to snag a good lunker here. What happened? I fell. A stick snapped. A stick snapped. <laughs> You've been on the ground more today than you have all year. You're real soaked. It's all right. 
That's all right, too. Well, I'm out here watching Peyton falling down and landing in the water, and I'm over here missing bites. Oh, I missed another one. Got to that time. Oh, definitely not the one, but. Well, just switched over to the natural color. Got a little guy. Nothing to be impressed about, but at least we know natural works and off the hook outdoors baits. I've missed, I need to get back in camera here. I've missed, I can't tell you how many fish right now. I don't even have to I can't tell you how many fish I've missed today. I don't I don't know what's what's going on, why I'm missing so many, but man. Peyton's missed a really good one. I've missed a pretty decent one. And the rest have been dinks. But if I would have caught that one, it would have been my biggest. What it? He's claiming if he would have caught the one he just missed, it would have been his PB. Could have been a tree. Just saying. Oh, <laughs> Just kidding. All right, we're gonna get back to fishing. Ugh, come on. Got that one. I got another one on. Where's that? Got it on the house shoot. Watermelon red flake. I've got one on every one of them except for the white one. Peyton's tearing them up with the white one. So I don't know if I'm gonna really go for the white, but man, these guys are so little. I'm literally having to let them get it in their mouth and eat it for a minute before I even try to set the hook. But, like I said a minute ago, at least you know, off the hook outdoors, baits do work. It's proof. I'm going to use black, red, silver flake. Cut one yet? So did you cut one yet? All right. We gotta get this cycle done for old Ted. Oh, missed it on the black and red flake. All right, everybody, we are done for the day. We've caught one on every Cinco that Off the Hook Outdoors has sent us. And let me be the one to tell you, these things are no joke. They catch fish. We didn't catch no monsters or huge fish, but that's not what it's about. It's about testing these out, seeing if fish actually want them, seeing if fish like them. Because a lot of baits, people swear by in your area the fish don't like them but guys with that being said i want you all to click right here like this video subscribe and make sure you hit the notification bell please do it helps me a lot but with that guys we are out of here we'll see you in the next video and peyton's down here dancing about to fall in the lake but see y'all